Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. As you know, Cypress is one of most popular and famous software automation testing tool for element locating Cypress supports only CSS selector. So today's video I will show you how to figure it out CSS selector for any element of an application. So let's go to the computer screen, I will show you step by step process how to do that. Hello viewer, now we are at computer screen. So as you know, software automation testing tool Cypress use only CSS selector for element locating. So I'll show you how to locate the CSS selector for any element of any application. So how to write a CSS selector for any element? If you figure it out the class name of that element, so before the class name, you need to put the dot sign. That is the CSS selector for that element. Then if you figure it out any ID of any element, then um, just put hash sign before the ID number. That is the CSS selector for that element. If any element doesn't have class name ID, then you can take any attribute value within the square bracket attribute value that will be the CSS selector for that. If any at any element that has the class name under the class name has the multiple element with that class name, then you can concatenate with the class name and any attribute value you can get it together that is the CSS selector for that element. So if you open your application with any browser like um, Chrome, Firefox, anything, then you can inspect element, then you could figure it out the uh, element properties. From that properties, you can create your CSS selector. Um, you can custom, that is called custom creation. Also, there is multiple browser add-in like Crow Path Selector Sub uh, that can figure it out, CSS selector for any element. Also, there is a documentation in W3 school. There you will get the all different type of CSS selector and CSS selector tutorial, how to figure it out the CSS selector from W3 school. You can take a look there. Also, um, Cypress automation testing tool, it has itself a CSS selector functionality. You can use that. Uh, functionality for figure it out any element CSS selector. So to figure it out the CSS selector today I will use Rahul Shetty automation testing uh, website for automation project. I will use that one. Let's say this is the input box. Uh, right click on the input box and click in spec. Once you will see in spec here is the element properties ID, class name, then uh, placeholder, all other thing. Let's say we have, first we will take the class name. Class name is here. Copy that class name and press Ctrl F. And class name before the class name you put dot dot that class name. You see here here uh, inputs there is a space then that's thing. You can delete up to inputs or you can also delete the space and put another dot. You see here is one of one. That means only one element with that class name. So that means this is the CSS selector for that input box. Let's copy that CSS selector, paste it in here. Now, radio button. So radio button, we'll figure it out. This is the radio button. Right click in the radio button and click in inspect. It is the radio button. You see the class name is the radio button. So copy that class name and paste it here. Dot radio button. You see here is three element with that same class name. That means you need to add another value for that class name, attribute value. Let's say uh, we'll pick the first one, radio one. So that's the value is the radio one. So we can put it within the square bracket, then value equal to radio one. Then if you hit enter, you see this is one of one. That means radio one has the unique CSS selector, this one. So as long as you got the only one for the CSS selector, it is good to go. If you figure it out multiple things, then you need to filter with another properties. So this is the radio button. That means first one class is on class with other um, value, um, other properties. Then go to the height button. Let's say it has a height button over here. Right click, inspect. So this is the height button. It has the ID, class, and uh, other properties too. Let me take the ID, height box, and paste it in here. So it is the ID we are taking, so there will be hash sign. Control V, see, it is one of one. That means it is perfect for ID. Copy that thing, 
and paste it over here just for demonstration purpose i'm pasting over here then show button again we'll see the inspect element show that means show button you see id is show text box right class and value so let me copy that it will be the same thing so it is only one that means this one is the css selector for show button copy that and paste it in over here also there is another trick in the browser once you inspected the element and you will get the highlighted line for that element let's say show button it is highlighted element once it is highlighted right click on that button and see copy css selector paste it in CS notepad file how it is looks like it is same thing hash sign show text box that means custom creation also you can get it from the right click and copy the css selector for that element so all of those due to creating a short video i already written the code for this thing so cy.visit that application we are opening then first is the use class this is the class and um, ui complete input that one this is the um, up to this you can take the first input dot or you can take the last one too it is the same thing use class and attribute we use the class radio button attribute value is the radio one another attribute then it is the id um, uh, display text um, then we use the only attribute value all the um, css selector we have taken here there are multiple way you can also select the css selector um, you can as i mentioned you can read the documentation in w3 school and you will get the better idea let me file and save it once you will save it will run my test runner is open let's see how it goes so it is running so let's see it is almost complete it is going there you see run is completed you see radio button one selected bangladesh is type here and it click show and hide button then it is completed that means it, it works perfectly correct our css selector whatever way we pick the css selector that is everything is all right you can follow that thing now it is the css uh, i'm sorry it is the cypress test runner you see here is the playground button if you click over here then any element you if you could hover let's say here is the home button click over here and here is the uh, already it has how beauty the tool is it is already created whole code not only css selector right if you copy from here copy and go to the visual studio code paste it over here that's my cy dot gate it is the css selector already picked it up then dot click that means you see uh, this code i have written manually previously so it is the um, it is created by the uh, cypress tool so let me save it and run it let's see how it goes save it is running let's see in the test runner it is running last of all it will click home button and it will go the main rahul city academy home page it already navigated how wonderful tool it is and how easy it is to writing the code um, and also css selector element locating it's a um, i i will suggest 80 percent you can css selector use the cypress automation tool and many complex css selector you can do your custom css selector in i believe those who are new in software automation testing using cypress this video will be very helpful for themselves if you think this is helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also if you have any question please make a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching this video